Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A very special evening indeed for tonight. Me and my colleague over here, Tom, are privileged to interview one of the most successful, one of the most influential people in the history of rock and our pub. Please welcome Elton John. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor to be here, really. Elton John, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, now, this won't take long, just a little set of questions, so we're going to get to know you a little bit better. Of course, sure, shoot. So, so let's start with the questions, if that's right. okay for you. Right. right. So you're a famous person, you're a famous all over the world for your great singing skills and I assume that everywhere you go you are um, recognized by everyone uh, but isn't that sometimes a little bit annoying? Well of course usually when I go out I try to disguise myself to give myself a little bit of privacy. Now when I am recognized that usually is coped with me being beset by many fans asking for autographs or such. Uh, so you do lose a bit of your private life, but of course the whole stardom also gives back a little bit of what it takes. I mean, it's nice to be known at times, but of course people can be a bit pressing and there are also some extremities. Extremities, you say? Could you um, tell us a little bit more about that? Well, yes, of course, as in every celebrity's life, there are a few weirdos, so to speak, of fans that are just a little bit overexcited. For example, once when I was on holiday in uh, North England, I sw uh, there was a female fan and she climbed over the security fence to get into my private property and tried to steal my clothes. Now then there was also, sometimes I can't help but seeing cameras peeping out of hedges, so I also think that the paparazzi was zoning in on me, but I can be quite sure of this. So yes, sometimes there are a bit extreme things. So being a superstar has also got its uh, downsides, but um, day in, day out, uh, you have to um, behave like a celebrity. Uh, is that what you dreamed of as a child, or did you want to become something else then? Well, no. No, actually, I must confess, I never did want to become a football singer. Actually, I always wanted to become a lumberjack! Leaping from tree to tree as they float along the rivers of British Columbia. The giant redwood, the larch, the fir, the mighty Scots pine, the smell of freshly cut timber, the crash of mighty trees. With my best girlie at my side, we'd sing, sing, sing. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. I cut down trees, I eat my lunch, I go to the lavatory. On Wednesdays I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. He cuts down trees, he eats his lunch, he goes to the lavatory. On Wednesdays he goes shopping and has buttered scones for tea. Half a lumberjack and he's okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. I cut down trees, I eat my, I skip and jump. I like to press wildflowers. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. He cuts down trees, he skips and jumps, he likes to press wildflowers. He puts on women's clothing and hangs around in bars. He's a lumberjack and he's okay He sleeps all night and he works all day I cut down trees, I still wear high heels Suspendies and a bra I wish I'd been a girly Just like my dear papa He cuts down trees, he wear high heels Suspendies and a bra I'm not oh, you a girl oh, You had an excuse for a pair of testicles Oh George, I thought you were so butch And you are now? Ah, the lumberjack and I'm so gay. I sleep so mine and the works all day. Ah, the lumberjack and I'm so gay. I sleep so mine and the works all day. 